Grizzly bear attacks have they got it on video? Yeah. Well, this both of these. Oh, these are different videos. One of them has it on video. The other one doesn't. Did you find the one with like the ten year old kid and the dude? Like, I looked it up. That story is great, but it's not as interesting as these two. Right, the little it was a ten year old kid, and he got, got drugged by like a black bear. Yeah, a little a black bear came out of the woods, grabbed him, ripped him off, and like this guy in a wheelchair threw a metal little pipe at the bear. And then another neighbor came out and they like scared the bear off. The little boy had a bunch of lacerations and stuff, but they said it was nothing life threatening. Yeah. So he barely escaped that one. <laughs> was this grizzly bear that big? And which one? This one? The one they fought off. Dude, I don't grizzly know. I didn't, bears. I didn't watch like the anything about it. Either. I don't think grizzly bears come in small size. <laughs> it's not like small, medium, large. Like you get a small, medium, or large grizzly bear. I think they all come generally in about the size of a cow. <laughs> I actually right? like being surprised about the videos because, like, I'm a super big, like, overthinker. So I know I am. I'm, I'm really bad at it. So, like, if I watch this beforehand and, like, think we're going to talk about it, I'll overthink so much stuff. So it's almost better for me to watch it and then just, like, go with it, you know? Good. Well, yeah. watch this. <laughs> Are we really? Oh, we're already recording. Yeah, hey, we're everybody. recording right now. What's up, fam? What's up, BTG Squad fam? We love you guys. Make sure that you subscribe and um, just subscribe. I don't necessarily give a damn about the other stuff. The likes, well, comment. Maybe if you, share. Like if you got, like if you like it, tell other people about well, it. Well, they'll do know? that themselves, yeah. right? Like yeah. just subscribe. And if you want us to talk about something or you want us, you want to see us cover a certain topic or subject, just leave it in our comment section or, or message us on Instagram. Or you can email. It's btgsquad128 at gmail.com. Yeah, comment. Let us know. We're also on other applications, right? Yeah, all that's down in the description yeah. box. Every yeah. Everywhere else that we are available. But anyway, we're going to watch this grizzly bear video. Um, and actually, actually, before we watch this one, I want to watch, I want to watch the shorter one, and then we're going to watch the one about these boys. No, you know what? We are going to watch the one about these boys first. <laughs> Cause that shorter one, dude, that that brings up some primal stuff in you when you hear that guy screaming. So watch this one. A group of friends who survived a terrifying encounter with a grizzly bear in Wyoming. Yeah, the guys are college wrestlers. They're now sharing their story of how they fought the bear off. Morgan Norwood has more. Wrestlers. These Northwest college wrestlers are used to going toe to toe with their opponents on the mat, but their most recent match would be their toughest yet. A massive grizzly bear. Just for us to walk out of there alive, all four of us, it's a miracle. It really is with the situation we were in. Brayden Lowry, Kendall Cummings, August Harrison, and Oren Jackson were searching for fallen antlers in Wyoming Soshone National Forest on Saturday when a bear came charging at Lowry and Cummings. It pounced on Lowry first. The bear came running out of the trees. I, I didn't even see it until it was right in front of me, but I heard the crashing and and the only thing I could yell is bear, bear. And I yelled bear and the bear tackled me first. That's when Cummings said he jumped in to help, punching and grabbing the bear until it turned on him. Damn. He knocked me onto the ground and then with its head, pushed me on the ground all the way up against the trees and then kind of pinned me up there and it was uh, attacking me for a second. It was, I was putting my hands in its mouth and stuff so it wouldn't be chewing on my neck and everything. As the bear was walking away, Cummings yeah, began to call out to Lowry. Then the bear returned. Crazy, but I heard the bear kind of grunting behind me and I heard it walking. And then I saw it again and it came and it attacked me again. Eventually, the two escaped and reunited with their teammates. Cummings was airlifted to the hospital, getting 60 staples in his head. Lowry was also taken to the same hospital and treated for a compound fracture That's in his crazy. left arm. Experts say the outcome could have been much worse if they didn't have each other. And two against one seemed to, you know, tip the scales to their advantage, and he was very lucky to chase the bear off that way. I'm happy that everyone's here and everyone's all right. The Wyoming Game and Fish Department says there's been an increase in reported bear activity around this time, and especially at low elevation. They're encouraging everyone to use caution and be bear aware. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, 
Did she say be bare aware? <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that together, but what did you try to throw <clears throat> a joke in just now? Really? All I know is that other dude owes his buddy his life. <laughs> And, yeah, because he straight up took the beating for him. You jump in and put your hands in the grizzly bear's mouth to keep him from grabbing your neck. <laughs> You're punching him and pulling his hair. They said he was punching him and pulling his hair. That guy is a savage. I do not ever want to wrestle that guy on the team. Like <laughs> if you go up against that guy in the wrestling team, and you're on the opposing team. You're so screwed, bro. <laughs> this one buddy doesn't even look like he got it that bad, you know. Like yeah, the one other, that jumped in is like, you got that, it bad. <laughs> and what's what's crazy about this to me is that those bears, like a grizzly bear will eat you. Yeah. You know, he'll hold you down and eat you. Why didn't he do that? It's like he just wanted him to, to know that he was the boss or something. Maybe he'd already just ate him or something. Like I said, he's fighting back too. Yeah, but I mean, you don't fight back against a grizzly bear. He either decides to kill you or not. But they never did say how big it was. They did, did they ever find the bear? I don't think so. But let's watch this second video because this one is just for me. This one is like what is it, I would Is it cringeworthy? <laughs> it's not cringeworthy. It's just like the the way the guy screams and the way you can hear you can hear it in his voice, bro. And it's like what all of us would, would feel do. in this situation. It is the pure terror of being attacked by a bear and knowing that you could potentially be the the antelope laying on the ground, getting his side eaten out while he's still alive. Like all that's going through your head when, when you watch this video. <laughs> Let's check this out. This says this is a climber on a mountain in Japan and he gets attacked by a bear. He's like, come here, buddy. That bear's hungry, son. He's lucky it's a black bear. Yeah. Dude, that guy, the way he's screaming, I know that's how I would be screaming, too. If I didn't have anything on me but my hands, and you see that thing coming at you trying to grab you, oh, <laughs> they're just. This is just a replay. Oh no, he came back. This is no. This is a replay. Oh, this is a replay. Okay, they just replayed it. Ugh. Look at that thing. You that is that bears. What's up though? Yo. He did. He, he fended it off very well, and luckily for him, the terrain was in his favor here. And the black the thing is, it's a black bear, though. Right, but even the then, that black bear, bear be way worse. that black bear still looked like it was ready to take some bites. Right? Mm -hmm. That's not Pooh Bear, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> if you've watched Pooh Bear, I did growing up. Pooh Bear was a lovey, cuddly, honey bear. He would eat honey, and he would sleep, and he would. <laughs> And I had a little teddy bear of Pooh Bear. Like, I would snuggle to Pooh Bear when I went to bed at night. Me and my brother both had a little Pooh Bear teddy bear. Dude, that's, did that's you, not did you ever go back and look up when people were – do you remember when you, you watched, like, the show? Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. Dude, he carried a gun. Winnie? He had a shotgun, <laughs> dude. Like, when, like, somebody, something was outside his house, he'd go grab his gun. No. Yeah. Let's just look it up. quickly Google this. <laughs> Did when he? Let's. Oh Jesus! I freaking. I don't know why that's in there. Pooh Bear shotgun. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, he did, did well, have it, it a, a gun. Pop, I think it's a, a pop. It's a pop gun though. It had like a cork on the end. Let's film this for these people so they can see <laughs> Pooh Bear with a gun. Yeah. yeah, even this Pooh Bear wasn't as lovable as you thought he was, man. He was, He's ready to. Pooh Bear was packing gang, heat. Gang, 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 <laughs> buzz, buzz. And being a brave little bear, he decided he would have a look for himself. Hello, old there. <laughs> He's about to take Tigger. Hello man. out there. He almost took out Tigger. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? I don't want to hear that. <laughs> okay. Dude, did you ever Being see the, brave little bear. Hey, the attack on that one dude that fought off and he was like, he actually lost his arm and stuff? Did you watch that video? To a bear? Yeah, dude. He took. He was out with his friends. They were camping or hunting or something. 
but he fought it off. It was a grizzly bear, but he had a knife and he was like, had his arm in its mouth and he's like stabbing it inside its mouth with his arm. Is that a video of it? Or There's a guy just that. It's a story. It's a, they, they, re, they interviewed the guy. Well, we're on guy bears stab, tonight. Man stabs bear in mouth, maybe. Oh my God. Man stabs bear in mouth. Steam, man. Maybe. Kicks bear, quickly regrets his decision. Spear killing. Grizzly bear attack. Man mauled to death in Yellowstone. Mm. Oof. I watched the, it was like a 60 minutes, man. It was crazy. I just want people to see at least like the freaking, um, what we're looking at, the thumbnails. Man kicks grizzly bear, quickly regrets his decision. <laughs> you seen the what? one on the bike too where the guy's like riding his bike? Yes, and yeah, the bear comes out of the trees. There's all kinds of grizzly bear stuff, dude. Like, it's not something to F around with. You start screwing around with a grizzly bear, you're going to die. Man fights bear off with knife. This looks like a wives' tale. <laughs> Doesn't look like True a True story video. of a hunter in Alaska. See, that wasn't the same one, but the guy was talking about it anyways. He's out with friends because they, like, didn't even try to help him. They're just, like, calling the cops or whatever on their phones, you know. They weren't like that wrestler dude. No, no. Freaking take the fight but to dude, the But dude, that bear. guy lost an arm and everything. Like, he got <sighs> mauled, dude. I cannot imagine being in a fight with a bear. When, like, we always use this analogy, but whenever you're holding a house cat and the house cat is angry at you and he puts his claws out and, like, if he wants to get away from you, he gets away. And if he wants to hurt you, he hurts you. <laughs> and it's a house cat. It's a little mini cat. And as much like I could, I could f up a house cat for sure. If I wanted mm. to hurt him, I could for sure kill him and hurt him very badly. But when you feel them actually use their power and their speed, you're like Jesus Christ! You're like, if a grizzly bear was here, and a grizzly bear could be as big as a cow or more or bigger, like, oh God, what happens if that thing grabs you and their claws? The house cat, man. I we've got a house cat. His name's Tito. Shout out to you, Tito. <laughs> he puts his claws out. If we don't clip him, his claws are so sharp, man. He'll cut you like he's a he's a <laughs> ass house cat. <laughs> like like if it's too cold on the balcony, he won't walk out there. You know, mm -hmm. like he's that guy. So the bears, their claws are sh razor sharp. They they and they're bigger. Yeah, yeah. and they're mm -hmm. huge. They're massive. One claw will probably be the size of Tito's head, you know, <laughs> like it's so nasty to think about fighting a grizzly bear. I was actually talking about this at work too, dude. Their skulls are super thick. Like to shoot a bear is almost impossible. Yeah. You're thinking, oh, I'll just bring my nine up there and give him a couple hits. Uh, but that just makes them more mad. Yeah. And they can live through that. Have you ever seen like when you shoot a human, you ever seen cops shoot humans? <laughs> they got to shoot them like 10 times before the guy drops sometimes. Like he <laughs> keeps running. <laughs> you're like, okay, now shoot a grizzly bear with all that fur, all that muscle, yeah, all that fat, meat on him. Yeah. And he's charging you. He's a generalized up. You are not putting that bear down unless you get him right in his heart or maybe in his brain. I don't know. But like mm. you said, their skulls are so super thick. <laughs> oh, and if you just got your hands. So the fact that those kids in the first video lived through that encounter is mind blowing. I just wish you could have seen like how big this thing was, though. Was it like a really tiny grizzly bear, like a baby one? That's not what the... It doesn't seem like it. No. I think he the bear just literally just wanted them to not be where they were at. I think that's because if well, they if he wanted them dead. Some around too, yeah, you know? if he wanted you dead, you're dead. Like <clears throat> the guy said, he, he the guy had his head in the bear's <coughs> mouth. Is that and he threw him up against a tree. If that bear wanted you to, to, be, to be dead, he'd have killed you. That's the end of it. Like this wasn't as much as I hate to say this. And they because, go for vital parts on you, too. They yeah, don't just, man. like, like you said, he's going for his throat. They go yeah. for your throat and, like, stuff like that. Yeah. They know how to take you out. Oh, God. She man just rips your throat out. No, man. <laughs> yeah, and as, as I hate to say it, too, because everybody says these kids are heroes, and 100% they are. But I guarantee you, 
like you didn't scare off that bear. <laughs> if he wanted you dead, you'd be dead. He let you live, I think. <laughs> it wasn't like your wrestling moves or you pulling his hair that stopped you from It might have been killed. well because they said there was four of them there, so they might have been yelling and yeah, probably felt unmatched. Two maybe. of them ran away. I watched this story in a couple of different versions and I'm pretty sure two of them like took off. And the one dude that got attacked, his buddy jumped on the bear and started effing yeah, give with the him bear. Props, man. That's all I know. Yeah, I can't. Oh, I mean, I'd like to say I do that for a friend, but I don't know. You know, it's hard to say what. Dude, if I had a fear, weapon, if I had a weapon on me, I probably would. This kid had no weapon, bro. He put his hands in the bear's mouth. Another reason <laughs> like, to keep a knife or something on you, man. I keep. At least a knife. then he could be like, <laughs> like stabbing him and stuff. You know. You see, but this? that might just piss him off more. Yeah, not if I if I get you, you see this knife. I don't know if you guys can see this blade. This blade is on me everywhere I go. When I'm in the shower, I have this yeah. blade stuck up my. Ass. <laughs> when I'm in what? <laughs> when I go through airport nice. security, I swallow this knife and it's in my stomach. Okay. When I'm in the movie theater, this blade is down on me somewhere, and I'm not gonna tell you this, but I might keep multiple of these on me. Okay. <laughs> If I don't have my gun on me, 100% best believe if you attack me or you try me, you're going to die by a knife, a Gerber knife. <laughs> now, as far as a grizzly bear is concerned. That might not do much. Yeah. This might not be. I want to get through the fat. Yeah. This would be. It's better than your your fist. Like, it's 100% better than nothing. If I can stab a grizzly bear in the eye with this. I say like the eye or something. Yeah. yeah there's still say. there's still creatures. If I hit, get you in the eye with this, you might back up. You just better hope you don't lose the grip and he takes the knife with him. <laughs> yeah, I better hope he doesn't take the knife. And if he does, I better be able to run real quick while he figures out what happened. <laughs> so, but yeah, for them to be out hunting in the wilderness in Wyoming, they were hunting for deer antlers that had like fallen on the ground. That's what they were doing in the mountains. Oh, so they didn't have like guns or nothing. No. in the Yeah, they said it was like kids who were hunting, but they I don't think they had guns. They were just hunting by them by their damn selves. Like how, who come on. These guys, I don't know where they're from. They look like they're fairly they country to me. Yeah, Wyoming, whatever. How does everyone in Wyoming not walk around with a knife? I don't get that. <laughs> like that, it blows my mind that these kids, maybe they thought they were that tough. And apparently they are. <laughs> they fought off yeah. a grizzly bear. So who am I to talk, right? Yeah. <laughs> you don't need a knife. You just need your bare hands, man. Yeah, they, they pulled out their man card and they succeeded. Man. They straight up pulled out their man card and dealt with that thing. And that is impressive. Damn, we've been here for 20 minutes. How is that possible? Mm. Well, Cue the music. <laughs> Ladies we got things to do, places to go, people to see. We love you guys. Subscribe, comment, like, share, all the stuff. We will see you in the next video. Uh, where are the aliens? Maybe they're among us. I don't know. <laughs>